Okay, this is page 591, and this is number three, and it doesn't say you have to make a Venn diagram, but I think it's easiest to understand if we do make one. It says, first of all, we have central heating, and I just said H for heating, and the chance that it has central heating is 0.25. Now, that's the whole circle. It doesn't go on here. That's the whole circle, 0.25. Then it tells me the probability that it has parking is 0.78. Again, that's the whole circle. It doesn't go here. It's the whole circle, 0.78. It's the whole circle. And then it tells me that the probability that they have both is 0.19. Well, that's this number here, 0.19. So then it says find the probability that they have this or that. Well, I know to find or, I really need or is this whole part here. I need to find all of this to get the or. So should I just add these three numbers up? No, because this one is already including that one there, and these two overlap. So I'm going to, I'm going to go back and just subtract here to find these missing numbers I'm missing up here. So I just need to do 0.25 minus 0.19 to get this one. And you do need to be careful, 0.06 is not the same thing as 0.6. That is not the same thing as this. I keep seeing people make this mistake. This is the difference in 6 cents and 60 cents, or a grade of a 6 and a grade of a 60. They're not the same thing. They make a big difference, so make sure you're writing them down carefully. Do the same thing on the other side, and you get this. Now, to get my OR, I just need to add all of those together. And we're done.